expired, and uh, I see Mr. Swall will has arrived. So recognize him for five minutes. Why is this hearing happening within the same week that we just learned that the Department of Homeland Security announces the average daily unlawful border crossings are down sharply relative to the period before Title 42 ended. We're seeing record number of fentanyl being seized by Border Patrol. Seized, not getting past them, but successes because our law enforcement are doing their job and showing up every day. And we, we don't congratulate them. Instead, we use that as a political tool to try and hit the Biden administration. Why is this hearing happening? It's because it's a part of a corrupt bargain, a dirty deal that allows Speaker McCarthy to stay in power. He's on an installment plan. He's got to pay a installment every week. He's got to give Tucker Carlson the January 6th sensitive police footage. He has to put Marjorie Taylor Greene on the Committee of Homeland Security, even though she said January 6th was a 1776 for our country, and she goes and visits the terrorists of January 6th at the D.C. jail and dishonors the police officers. Another installment is we have to defund the effort to help Ukraine to satisfy the Putin bloc that is across the aisle. And this is an installment that Ms. Taylor Greene openly admitted when she said she's voting for the crazy idea that we'd pay America's bills to lift the debt ceiling because she's going to get some dessert out of it. That's what she said. She said, I'm going to get some dessert out of this shit sandwich. Those are her words. This is her dessert. We all have to sit here uh, uh, for her dessert. The gentleman will suspend for a moment. The gentleman is, is warned not to use vulgarities in this committee room, and the gentleman is uh, warned to restrain uh, from uh, uh, from making uh, attacks on the motivations of members. Mr. Chairman, 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 will proceed Chairman, in order. Mr. Chairman, Chairman I apologize order. for quoting your colleague. Point, point of order. I, I, no, Chairman, I apologize. General lady, the general lady will state the point of order. No, no, Chairman, I, I apologize for quoting your colleague. I, I won't quote her again. You will, that's not, offensive you, to you. you will refrain from questioning the motives of members. So we're here because that was a promise that my colleague told the public was made, that we get to impeach Mayorkas. So this is the predicate to bring impeachment proceedings against the Secretary of Homeland Security, who just announced last week that daily unlawful border crossings are down sharply. Look, Kevin McCarthy may have the title of speaker, but it's clear to me, because of this hearing today, he doesn't have the job. The job is by the person who's getting her dessert here today. I also think, Chairman, it's quite rich that the title of today's hearing is whether the law is being faithfully executed because your principal witness was declared to have been an unlawful acting Secretary of Homeland Security. And on September 17, 2020, failed to honor his own subpoena, which puts him in good company because the chairman of our committee is 400 days into not honoring his own subpoena. But we're calling this hearing a question of whether the laws are being faithfully executed with the witness who didn't honor a subpoena, chaired by a committee chairman who did not honor his subpoena. Very rich. So my question, uh, Mr. Reichland Mesnick, is Considering that border crossings are down, we're trying our best with a party that doesn't want competence at the border, they want chaos, they want to declare there's open borders to try and incite people to come to the United States. Do you see grounds at all, any predicate that would summarize why an impeachment of Secretary Mayorkas would be justified? Congressman, I'm not an expert on impeachment, but what I do know is that it's been 33 years since we last updated our legal immigration laws and 27 years since we last updated our asylum laws. We are operating a 20th century system, a system that in some cases came around before the World Wide Web. And it's not a surprise that in a 21st century global displacement crisis, the United States is struggling very hard to keep up. And so 
I think what this shows is that we need to fix and update our laws, give the system the resources it needs to work, and ensure that the DHS can actually carry out the laws in a way that today, in many ways, it struggles with. Thank you. And I think the summary here is people want competence. They don't want chaos on immigration, on the debt ceiling, on anything else. I yield back. Thank you. Uh, and I think they also would like civility. 